Hello, I'm Igor Scudro, Android team lead at Misplay and Google Developer Expert for Android. And today I'm answering 10 frequently asked questions about Jetpack Compose. Let's dive in. What is Jetpack Compose? Jetpack Compose is a modern toolkit for building native UIs in Android. It allows us to create apps faster using less code and with more intuitive APIs. Why should I use Compose? With Jetpack Compose, you can create better apps faster and also using Kotlin syntax. No more mixing XML in Kotlin. It also uses declarative API, which allows us just to describe what the UI should do and let Compose take care of the rest. In addition, the Clarity API helps create a single source of truth, reducing constant states and bugs. All of these will accelerate your development, both with new and existing apps. What's the difference between the Clarity and Imperative API? The Imperative API is the one we use while programming with Android View System. Think an Android button in XML. To manipulate it, we have several functions to be called with its reference. Set tags, is enable, set up a listener, etc. We are basically using statements to change its state. In a real world example, to bake a cake, I need to separate the ingredients, mix in a bowl, take the oven, and wait for 30 minutes. On the other hand, there is the declarative API, which is used with Jetpack Compose. Instead of calling statements, we create components that know how to handle different inputs, and Compose makes sure that transitions done correctly. In comparison with the previous reward example, in this case, here are the cake ingredients, baking a cake. Will the Android Google system with XML be deprecated? At the moment, there are no plans to deprecate the Android Google system in favor of Jetpack Compose. However, Compose is going a lot in the community, so it's going to be more and more common to see official documents, updates, and even projects using it. So now is the perfect time to learn more about it. Is Compose production ready? Yes! Jetpack Compose has been stable since July 2021 and constantly receiving support from Google since. There are a lot of apps already use it. For example, Twitter, Airbnb, Pinterest, and also here at Misplay. Do I need to migrate everything to Compose? No, you don't need to migrate everything at once. In fact, you can create a single screen of Compose in your project just to learn and feel confident about it. The interrupt libraries allow us to integrate in a lot of different ways, in activities, fragments, and even with layouts in XML. Should I keep using view model and live data with Compose? Yes, view models are still the recommended way to separate the UI and business logic. Regarding live data, it also works with Jetpack Compose thanks to the interrupt libraries. However, if you want to learn a more modern way to handle observables, I recommend taking a look at Stateflow. How do I manage lifecycle with Compose? The Compose functions have a different lifecycle we are familiar with the Android View system. Basically, it runs your code during the initial composition and Compose keeps track of future changes, letting only the modified parts run again, call it recomposition. A Compose function can be called multiple times, so it's very important to learn how to manage states before creating complex screens. Will Compose remove all the XML files from a project? No, some of the XML files will still be required in the project. Files like Android Manifest, Teams, Strings, Colors will still be required at least to set up the main activity. Why use Jetpack Compose code? Some Kotlin files can be used instead to store the information. A good way to see what's required is creating an empty Compose project using the Android Studio wizard. Where can I learn more about Compose? During the last year, Google released a lot of materials to learn more about it. My favorite ones are the official Jetpack Compose documentation with great sections such as Thinking in Compose, Managing State, and Performance. And also, the official Jetpack Compose samples on GitHub with 8 apps using different approaches on how to implement it. Links are in the description below. And that's it for today. I hope you feel more confident in learning Jetpack Compose. Let's build apps faster with less code and use all the power of Kotlin. If you have any more questions about Jetpack Compose, please leave a comment below. Bye bye!